Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, and welcome back. And, you know, guys, uh, there's so much going on right now, and there's so much happening at like a breakneck <laughs> pace right now. It's insane. And please don't mind me if I'm really distracted today for two reasons. <laughs> one, one is a good reason. It's just I'm overcome by Cindy's beauty as she had a salon day. She went and got her hair done today. And I, I can't get over it. I've been walking into doors <laughs> all day long now since I picked her up. Wow. And then the other thing is uh, one of our beloved friends here and family members. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is Cheryl. And so Cheryl has been a part of this family, I, I really think, since 2017. Um, she's been here a long time. She, uh, gosh, when I was in North Carolina, we did energy work at a distance, and I think it goes back to Florida uh, when she came aboard. And so she was feeling a little bit off, and she went to get blood work and get checked out. They saw some irregularities, and so they have found cancer. Um, I, from her description, I would believe it's in the transverse colon, near the ascending colon. And uh, so, you know, what we want to do is we want to send prayers her way as, you know, she is a, a beloved friend of ours and a family member of Evolutionary and E Arts for a very long time and a good person and a light worker starseed. And, you know, this is part of what I, I have been seeing at coming, you know, they're Again, we are in a period, and we were just talking about this and asking the guides again, you, you have to be basically detoxing every single day now. And that's detoxing too with things like I, what I forgot to do last night, like turn off the router again. Yeah. You know, it's so important because we're getting bombarded from all sorts of different frequencies out there. Um, if you know, think about Pigpen from um, the Peanuts cartoons, Pigpen. You know how he has this dust cloud about him? Well, there are clouds like that for a different reason of dark energy out there right now. And they're everywhere, everywhere. And, and it's shutting down people's chakras. It's, it's attacking the energy bodies. And it's manifesting as physical disease. And, you know, again, it starts as dis-ease, disharmony, imbalances. When the body gets overwhelmed and it can no longer purge that which it needs to purge, then we end up with conditions like cancer, you know, where these cells typically, if the body's functioning optimally and we're giving it what it needs, Typically, the body will break down those diseased cells before it becomes a problem. But we are just being bombarded from all different angles. And this is another all too perfect storm that's going on. We've been talking about, you know, the floods, the wildfires, all this stuff going on that's causing uh, not just food shortages, but other things as well, disrupting the supply chain and everything. But this is another all too perfect storm. Uh, that feels very, it's more than feels, it, you know, artificial flavoring mm -hmm. is abundant here in what we, what we have going on as I'm still in a daze looking at my beautiful wife. He's like the best man ever. <laughs> He's so sweet. Yeah, we do. We do have a lot going on. And what's really important as we detox is to really, really, really watch what we're putting in our mouth. And, um, I was talking to someone today who is concerned because she's having a lot of aches, a lot of pains. And I was telling her some simple ways to uh, make her body more alkaline to help reduce a lot of those aches and pains, you know, but the, the problem there in lies where people, what they choose to eat, you know, almost nullifies anything that you're trying to, trying to do. You know, I'm not saying don't try, but if you're, when you're, when you're doing this, do all of it, you know, to have maximum benefit, make sure you're taking in really good food along with the alkalizing. 
Um, so what we're going to do is right now I want to, before we continue with the video, please get everybody to focus your intention. Greg Braden did a uh, video once that I've shown like three or four different times uh, that there's three medical Qigong doctors over in China in a clinic working on a lady with stage four inoperable bladder cancer. And they show it live. They show a picture uh, basically of the tumor where you could see it. And then you see live that as they keep chanting like Ham Sa, which is already gone, they're sending energy to dissolve the tumor and it breaks up and dissolves right in front of your very eyes. And this has happened many times. One of my teachers, uh, Ted Sibick, who's over in Pennsylvania, who is also a, um, a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, as well as a, a medical Qigong doctor, he has also uh, had people that were stage four and terminal that they're okay, the cancer just disappears. There's been so many cases of spontaneous remissions and you know, from even laying out of hands. Uh, again, it's all about intent. When we recognize what happens on a quantum level, the fact that our consciousness changes the, the reality around us constantly, constantly. And our very DNA is, is constantly changing as well, as it, it's programmable. Everything is programmable. So please do send the intention out as if the tumor that is in Cheryl or has been found in Cheryl is already gone. Cindy's going to give us some tunes. And if we could all send our prayers, whether we're calling on Yeshua, the archangels, any whatever tradition you follow, if it's just pure love and light and source and whatever it is, please do send your intention out that she's already healed already healed perfectly in balance and harmony as Cindy's going to give us some tunes. And now I, I just want to do the same thing for anybody out there that is also going through a similar circumstance where you're fighting something that the doctors have told you, uh, maybe it doesn't look so good. Uh, that let's all send the intention out for healing to everybody here that's listening to this, this video, all ERTS family members, evolutionary family members. Uh, for you and your loved ones, if you have loved ones that are going through this as well. And Cindy will do uh, the tuning again out there for everyone. May you all be blessed with abundant peace, love, health, and harmony, and kept safe in these times. So thank you guys for that, that healing and that intention. And just to run through all the stuff that's going on in this world, we have Putin hailing uh, constructive talks with Biden in Geneva. They're not going to be best buddies anytime soon, but... We are told it's constructive, and the Russian-American ambassadors will soon be returning to posts. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You know, actions speak louder than words, though. And there's a lot of actions going on. Uh, that I mean, to me, it's just so obvious because I've always seen what this time was going to look like going back to being a teenager, doodling in high school and making kind of post-apocalyptic little doodles because <laughs> I'm not much of an artist in that sense. 
I always had visions and saw like these times. So to me, it's it's so wild to see these things really actually manifesting now before our very eyes. And again, we if we could wake up enough people, I do believe we could change timelines. As I woke up this morning and felt like something had shifted. And actually t- today I've had more a lot more pep in my step than I have lately with the move and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, perhaps it's because we're finally settling a hair, yeah. <laughs> which is a wonderful. Little bit. A little bit. So tonight, as you see this quote, the Dallas skyline has gone dark to conserve power tomorrow. Texas Governor Greg Abbott will announce details about expanding the wall. Just another brick in the wall. Um, if you just look at what's going on. Oh, yeah, that's a photo we probably shouldn't have up there, mm. shall we? Well, there was a certain invitation that went out to a certain number 45, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, last name begins with a T. Uh, to go check out the wall. Let's go, let's go for a little road trip. And it was accepted. Oh, yeah, we could see what's going on, guys. You know, it feels like it's 1861 Mm -hmm. all over again here. We've been talking about it. You know, in one sense, it feels like 1939 for you guys that are history buffs. And another, it feels like 1861. Or maybe it's a new 1776. Maybe. As you see, DeSantis commits Florida law enforcement resources to secure southern U.S. border. Yeah, sending enforcements to Texas and Arizona. Yeah, I've been on record going back to 2017 in video saying uh, that really what I have seen all the time, and again, I hope we could change these. I don't want to manifest it. Um, I hope we can change timelines into a positive way, and everybody on the world, we get you know the vast majority to wake up, snap out of the zombification that's going on, Smell the coffee. Mm-hmm. Probably better than smelling the roses because we really got to wake people up. We do, big time. And it's it's going down step by step by step. You know, again, you have what feels like the beginnings of a new confederation mm-hmm. that is right here going to be spearleaded by these two states as they are starting to work together. Yet we still see a lot of other things going on that tell us that times are not normal. And you guys have been reporting to us tons of unusual military plane activity going on and just unusual things in the sky, period, as always. The U.S. scrambles F-22 jets and carrier strike group to face off with Russian war games near Hawaii ahead of Putin's summit. Well, We also saw that proposal to increase the storage facility over at a base over in Hawaii. Tremendously, a tremendous increase in capacity as, you know, signs are all around. There's two major conflagrations that have been planned is what how I would view it as military investigators baffled by stolen box of armor piercing grenades yeah they just kind of they went missing Hmm, interesting and this is going through things that have happened in the past that are coming out now u.s military's vast supply chain is susceptible to theft 30 armor piercing grenades went missing last year were recently found behind a residential house in 2017 rail freight company csx corps corp (laughs) corps there you go (laughs) Yeah, it does feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse movie at times. Mm-hmm. Hauled ammo shipping containers from Florida to Pennsylvania. Someone broke into a container along the line, stole one box of 40 millimeter armor piercing grenades used in the MK-19 grenade launcher. Ammo box was eventually found in an Atlanta neighborhood months later. Wow, in February 2018. This, and we saw... Recently, down in Mexico, millions of rounds that were intercepted and stolen. We've talked about sleepy cells inside the country already. Many have been here for decades. This is just wild what we're seeing over here. How did, how could they 
not watch this stuff? You know, how does stuff, I mean, how does so much of this stuff happen? You know, all too perfect, artificially enhanced. Southwest Airlines delays and cancels hundreds of flights a third day. Yes, and this is all about some disruptions that happened earlier this week. The headaches for Southwest, which is widely credited for pioneering the low fare airline business model, began on Monday night when a problem with a weather data supplier prevented airline prevented the airline from safely flying planes. The issue was resolved within hours. But on Tuesday, the airline suffered its own technological problems, resulting in half its flights that day being delayed, many being canceled. And then spillover from that episode caused Wednesday's problems. The airline said about 10% of its flights were canceled. 19% were delayed by mid-afternoon, according to Flight Aware. So we, we've seen so much going on with different ransomware uh, attacks, hacking going on. By the way, police bust major ransomware gang, and this was over in uh, the Ukraine. So this gang called itself C10P, an international sting. So, so much uh, happening in so many different ways. Iran floats reports of imminent Shanghai Cooperation Organization membership. If we can't see right now this is like, well, you know, we we could view it as like when you're in school and say you're going to get teams together for dodgeball, right? And you're picking sides. Mm-hmm. There's side picking going on right now in the U.S. of A. and also globally. And side picking for what feels to be two major conflagrations. Eager to enhance its negotiating leverage with the United States and Europe, Iran is projecting imminent mes- me- membership of the China-led Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the SCO, in much the same way it pushed the signing of a much-touted 25-year cooperation agreement with the People's Republic of China uh, that has yet to have any real legs. And many people in Iran were really unhappy with that. They were feeling like they were going to be nothing but a vassal of the, the CCP, so to speak. And, but you can see there's alternatives being set up. Now we saw Russia decoupling from the dollar. Uh, we've seen both Russia and China stockpiling gold, uh, you know, real value, uh, real valuable assets. And of course, you know, the big land grab and, uh, you know, the grab for where the resources are going to be able to be utilized with the changing weather. And again, you know, tons of artificial enhancement going on there. Of course, we do have a grand solar minimum. We have a magnetic pole excursion, magnetic reversal underway. All these things are going on. So founded in 2001, the SCO counts China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, India, and Pakistan as its members. Besides Iran, observers include Turkey, Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, and Armenia. So down here, a little bit farther, we see Iran and Tajikistan agreed in April to establish a joint military defense and military committee that would further security uh, cooperation between the two countries. Again, this this is like picking teams for dodgeball Mm -hmm. or... Uh, picking teams for the Ultimate Fighter show, mm-hmm. for instance, sure if we're going to bring it into more like these times. Yes. But they still play dodgeball, don't they? They do. They do. Yeah. And it's not just the U.S. We have Brazilians growing unhappy and angry as inequality hits records there as well. Some calling Bolsonaro a fascist. Yeah, that's really not nice. That's, that's just not nice. Yeah, but, you know, he doesn't seem like too nice a guy, really. He seems... He seems like about as, well, when you don't get something nice to say, yeah, you, you know, just this, don't say yeah, anything. That's, that's, right. that's, I guess, what we should do, right? Yep, yep. So as temperatures soar, California and Texas urge power conservation. Again, watching the grids carefully, 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 carefully. 
115 degrees interior California. That's pretty hot. You know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it is summer. I think we were in, we're probably in the mid nineties, mm -hmm. but you know, Texas for the most part is a, a hot place mm -hmm. and you know, that's normal. Of course we get these wild swings nowadays. We also get strange clouds floating by and who knows what's in them. I know it's almost like they're cloaked or something. Yeah, could be. Europe forced to burn coal after historically cold winter and spring depleted gas supplies. Yep. European utilities had had to step up coal use as natural gas inventories run unusually low for this time of year due to the continent's historically chilly late winter and spring. Coal to the rescue. You know, there, there's just so much that's hidden from us where none of this would really be necessary. You know, there's declassified documents that we've shown on other videos um, all about alternative energy that basically would be coming out of the ether. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no need for any of this besides getting people dependent making certain en entities richer and keeping a control mm -hmm. grid, so to speak. As we see, the KP index uh, did go on the 16th up to a five. So keep an eye on that. And there wasn't any real appreciable solar activity there. Tropical depression likely to form in the Western Gulf, heavy rain threat for Northern Gulf Coast. And wait till you look at some of these um, totals. This is just wow you know it's i'm very skeptical guys very skeptical so tropical depression likely to form on thursday or friday heavy rainfall is going to be the biggest issue and in some areas like louisiana and eastern texas and mississippi too it's pretty damn saturated right now And so look at some of these totals. Now, this is the European model. 6.11 inches in Gulfport, 9.76 in New Orleans, 4.78 in Mobile, and up in Montgomery, 4.52, Atlanta, 3.22. Mm -hmm. And then the GFS model is showing 7.31 in Hattiesburg, which, you know, we got to say, nice people in Hattiesburg. We spent uh, a good deal of time there. And really liked it, liked the area a lot. You know, if you get this type of this type of rain, is going to bring amazing flooding. And there's already so many issues going on. And then we have the opposite thing on the other side. And we talked about all the people moving to Montana. And here you see the Robertson draw fire now 20,000 acres in size. And this is up in Montana as the wildfire fire seasons there. Of course, Lake Mead is at historically record lows everywhere you look. And then when we were talking about uh, some of those Mississippi rain totals, northern Mississippi farmers experienced total loss for some crops after unprecedented flooding. And what if we add another 7 to 10 inches of rain on top of that? Craziness, just craziness. Uh, now we start thinking about those Edgar Casey maps with large mm -hmm. parts of the country underwater. Yeah, it might not be any tsunami. It might just be this crazy patterns of um, artificially induced flavoring. I have never seen anything like it. Agriculture Commissioner Andy Gibson said it was just torrential, looked like a tropical storm. And this is pounding the Mississippi farmlands. They look like lakes where there was cotton and soybeans. And there are even cornfields that are totally underwater. And the corn is relatively high at this time of year in this area. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And just taking a couple quick looks over here from the watchers at some of the headlines, you see rare water spouts spotted in the street of Georgia for two days in a row. This is up in Canada. And, of course, we're seeing weather and unusual things in areas that we don't typically see, but we have new norms going on now. 
October weather in June, sudden heavy downpour triggers paralyzing floods in Istanbul, Turkey, as well as you see that car looking like it's seen better days. And we have a slow moving meteor from large asteroid 2004HW putting on a spectacular display over Andalusia in Spain. Why do they always seem to go in the same patterns? Do you know how many times I've seen reports of fireballs in this area of Spain? It doesn't make any sense because, you know, if the Earth is rotating and moving and, yeah, no. I think there's something else going on there, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And this is another wave of another sort. With the moratorium ending, more than 8 million households face foreclosure or eviction. This is going to be enormous. And we've gotten from many of you guys out there uh, that other people have gone through the same fiasco that we did because it really feels like the banks don't want to really lend. Uh, Perhaps it's because there's going to be a massive consolidation and, you know, there'll be a lot of billionaires and corporations adding to their portfolios the houses of millions and millions of people that are going to be going into foreclosure. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is what we can see. Again, can, this is the biggest consolidation of wealth that I, we can even... You know, it, in our time, for sure, it's it's almost unimaginable. But again, look at how it's all playing out from all these different angles and perspectives. So now you got green fungus reported in India, adding to three other other color types of infection developing, and a plague upon the land patients. Uh, there's there's so much that's going to be developing. A long time ago, we told you that the guides told us that there was going to be something else coming that was going to be, you know, related to the same sort of lockdown type of procedure that we've seen around the globe with this particular plague upon the land. There's going to be something new. Uh, perhaps a different flavoring um, where you really are going to want to kind of avoid a lot of um, contact and, and exposure. Uh, you really are going to want to kind of, you know, just tend to your own garden. Yep. And, uh, you know, I don't want to ever plug Amazon or anything, but wherever you can maybe get things shipped in, you know, have things shipped in, uh, because there's something else that's in the works out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really concerning. It's just something that they're going to use to say, aha, so you do need this other treatment. You know, it's their way. Yes, and we have to be really careful about, you know, what we say as far as that goes. U.S. government considers at least some UFOs to be extraterrestrial and extra dimensional or interdimensional. So says an ex-Intel official. And, you know, this is just more of that disclosure. It's Luis Elizondo, former director of military's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. So right there. Okay, some of what you see, yeah, we do think it's basically extraterrestrials and interdimensional beings. At least some. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's your disclosure. Meanwhile, we see UFOs may be threat to U.S. security. Lawmakers warn after briefing on military sightings. Again, you know, this is all very predictable, but it doesn't mean that there's not extraterrestrials as some will go to the extreme and say, oh, they're all just demons. Yeah. You know, everything's a demon. Everything. Everything's a demon. Yeah. It's like every single species of animal on the planet is a dog. Yeah, or, or everything is a fish. Yeah. Look at look at that dog quacking over there. Yeah, we got it all figured out. And that dog's chirping. Yes. And, that's and our that belief. dog's meowing. Yep. And that's <laughs> our belief system, and it's safe. Mm -hmm. you, well, that's the thing. It, it's something that feels comfortable and safe mm -hmm. uh, from the, the indoctrination and, you know, the, the patterning that happens throughout childhood and growing up. Mm -hmm. Many U.S. cities are starting to resemble po post-apocalyptic cesspools. 
as America's collapse accelerates. And uh, yeah, that's true. And this does touch on the, the case that many people from blue states left and head, headed towards red states this past year at an increased rate. And there's a lot, a lot going on here behind the scenes. And we have seen just crazy stuff. Uh, murder rate in Atlanta is up 60% so far this year. And, you know, New York City is looking like a repeat of the 70s. You guys remember Beretta and Starsky and Hutch and all those things? Mm-hmm. But times have really changed. Lifelong exercise adds up to big health care savings. Yep. People who start to exercise before or during middle age typically save anywhere from $824 to $1,874 a year on health care costs after retirement. And the earlier they start their workouts, the greater those savings can be. Yeah, you know, the the most important thing in these times is really guarding our health in so many ways. And obviously our physical health, but also our mental and spiritual health, because we are getting blasted from every single angle. And uh, we did have a comment out there saying, do more documentary style things. We will do them. We promise. We, we love doing them. Uh, right now, it's, it's just been tough trying to play catch up with everything but we will be catching up and hopefully the grid will stay up long enough for us to get some good fun ones out there. yes yes as we love doing those indeed and we we love talking about health and there again we gotta keep moving and you have to detox so you know as a typical routine when there is availability cindy loves to sweat she has a portable sauna that mm-hmm. um i think it's it's less than two hundred dollars it's right about there yeah yeah and and that's a great way to to detox mm-hmm. through sweating you gotta get rid of the toxins exercise exercise is a key and i am so happy to see so many articles talking about qigong uh they'll say tai chi and qigong now more than i have ever remember before mind body breath is so important and we really have to you know, guard our health because, as we were talking about with our beloved Cheryl there, so many people, you know, in the prime of their lives are, are being faced with health crises right now. And we had talked before about how things can be labeled different ways. And when we're talking about the plague on the land, how there was you know, different categories put up and stuff. And it's the same thing. And it might go in a different way. If you could catch what I'm trying to put out there, Um, it could go in the exact opposite direction of what we saw before. We are being bombarded with, you name it. Yeah, we have GMO foods. We have different frequencies out there. Again, we recommend turning off your routers completely, unplugging, if you could. Uh, same thing with cell phones every night. One of our uh, beloved sisters, hi, Leah, if you're, if you're listening, you know, she has a cast iron um, skillet that she puts her, mic, her, her phone inside and then closes it and it's in the fireplace. That, that's, that's what she does every night um, just because she doesn't want the frequencies coming out. Yeah, there's so much that's hitting us that we really have to take care of our health. Uh, in every way, again, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, again, things like meditation, yoga, tai chi, qigong, cardio, and you know things like another great way to detox is if you have availability of a sauna. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful, or even a hot bath just to let yourself sweat out those toxins. And this is just a must in these times. And, you know, I know a lot of you are extremely busy, you know, your parents, you're working, you're, you're managing, you have a household, you have your own business and there's so many things to do. And the, the trick is, is to really seriously prioritize it because is it that important? Yes, it's that important that we start taking control of our health nowadays and take, you know, even if you have to start with 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you know, do what you do. You know, I can get in that sauna. I can be in and out of the sauna in 20 minutes and get a really good sweat in. 
um, and just start there. But start, that's the whole thing. And then I thought of something kind of cute. I thought I was thinking of this saying, it's like <clears throat> detox and don't retox. There you go. There. So watch what you're putting into your system. As we talked about um, yesterday, I think I mentioned it in a video that when I go to the store, sometimes it's painful because I'll see, you know, blackberries or blueberries, two for four or strawberries. And, you know, I love them. Or, or the organic at four ninety nine or five ninety nine for one. Again, I'll get the organic mm -hmm. because I just can't put what I know is, is toxins back in the system. It doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. And I was talking to a gal about that today and she has a family and she has to buy for them. And she's like, I just can't afford to go with the organic. And I was telling her, you don't, you know, you, you need less because it's all about the nutrient content. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I've talked about that in videos too, uh, in the past, uh, you know, whereas they've done studies to show that an organic carrot will have 10 times the vitamin A than a GMO one, even though the GMO one might look bigger, might look better. It's not. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, there are things, unfortunately, that are being marked organic that aren't truly organic anymore. Mm -hmm. And look to your lawmakers, because these guys have just they've done a horrible job in keeping people healthy and safe on the whole. There's there are some out there that really have, you know, put their necks out because it is put your neck out to speak up against, you know, these particular industries. Mm -hmm. Um but, you know, when, when laws get put in that just they, they sidestep really freedom of information. So, you know, we have a right to know what has been put on that carrot or those berries. Mm -hmm. We really, you know, have a right to know. Um, but unfortunately, you know, that's, that's always, it seems, secondary to profits and, and whatever else is going on. So, guys. I want to thank you for being part of the family. Thumbs up to support the channel. If you found it interesting, make sure you're subscribed with the bell clicked on both channels. If you need to make an appointment, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com or eearts at protonmail.com. May you guys be blessed with abundant peace, love, health, and happiness, and stay safe in these times. God bless and namaste. Namaste.